Before getting married, Matt Roloff and Karen Chandler moved into their ideal house. Notable author of Little People, Big World Karen Chandler has listed her Oregon property for $540,000 after moving into their ideal farmhouse with fiancé Matt Roloff. Karen has hardly been residing at her house lately. She got engaged in April of last year and plans to get married this year. After breaking up with his fiancé, her son Connor moved back home but is now looking for new opportunities, he exclusively told the U.S. Son, Karen is eager to divide her time between their vacation property in Arizona and the farm near Hillsboro, where Matt has been constructing their new home from the ground up. Her Portland, Oregon, 1,459-square-foot house, including three bedrooms and three bathrooms, went up for sale this week. This charming property is located in the Rock Creek area, next to the golf course, on a quiet cul-de-sac, according to the listing on the internet. Corin's home boasts an open floor plan, new carpeting throughout, and an updated kitchen with stainless steel appliances, solid surface worktops, and a pantry. Additionally, the main floor of the home features an expansive living room and a bedroom, office. Along with a wide, secluded, low-maintenance garden including raised flower beds and a recent deck, there's a third bedroom and a large principal suite with full bathrooms upstairs. Since they started dating in 2017, Matt and Karen have been excited to visit Surprise, Arizona, where they already own a $375,000 property and Oregon frequently. After Matt's divorce from ex-wife Amy Roloff in 2018, the couple bought the two-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath residence from Karen's parents. Prior to her son moving back in, a source informed the U.S. son that she intended to relocate by January 2023, but it took her an additional year to list the house on the market. While building their new house, her son said they were residing in a double-wide trailer on their 106-acre family farm. After spending the whole previous year on the costly endeavor, Matt's new building on the farm was eventually shown in December. The daughter-in-law of Matt, Audrey, revealed her children were coming to Little Papa's house, and she shared updated videos of the outside on Instagram. In her video, Audrey showed the new home's brick facade as the kids arrived in a toy vehicle and pulled into Matt's new driveway. Expectant Raw Farms is around three miles away from Audrey, her husband Jeremy, and their growing family of three children. In an internet fan community, fans shared Audrey's video to talk about Matt's most recent action. Previously, the U.S. son was informed by an eyewitness that during a queue and a session, Matt shared with fortunate admirers who are visiting Roloff Farms for pumpkin season about the fascinating building process. Pumpkin season takes all of our attention, he said to the gathering, adding that construction had proceeded ahead of schedule. Matt started working on the massive project back in March 2023, and he gave gratitude to his youngest son Jacob for his assistance. At the time, he stated, Very exciting to be starting on our new house after five years of planning. We've been saving logs, and Jacob is chopping them up. The wood for the house will come from a combination of timber we buy and wood we cut on the farm using our LT40 mill. We're in for a hectic spring and summer. In a recent post on social media, Matt referred to his future bride as his rock and said that she could take any random building he built and give it life and spirit. Her son Connor responded, I think they want to do it in May, right before summer, when asked when they would exchange vows. It shouldn't be very heated. However, she brought up May, I'm not sure when precisely. With her latest scandals, Audrey Roloff enjoys drawing attention. She made her television debut as Jeremy Roloff's girlfriend in the series Little People, Big World. For years, the couple was deeply infatuated with one another. They were joined in marriage in a small ceremony at the Roloff Farms. The Little People, Big World star later departed the program in order to better concentrate on their personal affairs. With their three children, they have since moved off the family land. As parents or citizens, the pair frequently draws criticism for their careless actions. Jeremy and Audrey's detractors frequently accuse them of endangering the lives of their kids, and other people. They ignore the criticism, though, and carry on with their business as usual. Fans have been criticizing the star lately for having careless pets. Little people, vast world stars for their bold choices. Audrey and Jeremy frequently make news. Their whimsical and daring demeanor frequently draws acclaim. That being said, their carefree demeanor occasionally crosses lines. Audrey Roloff shared some recent photos from her vacation to the Sun River area on Instagram. The couple purchased a cottage in the region with the intention of renting it out for vacations. As fans of Little People, Big World are well aware. Hiking, fishing, and other hobbies were quite popular at this location. In addition, as the location was exclusively for pet rentals, the majority of the families brought their animals along. Audrey recently related a startling experience she had while visiting the location. While driving, she told her admirers one of her cats leaped out of the vehicle window. She shared a photo of her kitties inside the car and commented, after a long car ride yesterday with many stops and hiccups. The TLC star clarified that one of the mishaps involved pursuing a cat that ran away in a grocery store parking lot. Audrey proceeded to deduce that the family had arrived at their Sun River cabin. The fact that the cats were seated inside the car without a container infuriated Fan. A fan said, if the idiots had put cat in a proper carrier for travel, it wouldn't be able to escape and would be safe. 
Others chastise the celebrity for endangering the cat's life while on the trip. Audrey Roloff enjoys indulging her viewers in the good times spent with her family. She frequently posts sweet moments on social media with her three children and spouse. To celebrate her fond memories, the little people, Big World actress recently shared a 2023 wrap-up video. In order to convey how our family spent the year together, she posted a number of images and videos. Our family had a busy year in 2023, she wrote. I'm exhausted as I finish it. Additionally, the TLC star's fans are aware that she is expecting her fourth child already. They are now spending the most quality time together as prospective parents to four children. In the comments area, a few people raved over the adorable family moments. They also had great pleasure in witnessing the family enjoying the greatest possible life together. In response to the issue surrounding Natalia Grace, Little People Big World star Matt Roloff has spoken his opinion. The documentary The Curious Case of Natalia Grace, Natalia Speaks has resumed attention grabbing Grace's narrative. Matt has since shared his opinions on the whole dispute and what he believes to be the genuine story. What Matt thought about Natalia Grace is seen below. Due to a recent documentary in which she presents her version of events, Natalia Grace is once again in the headlines. She also has a a lot of fresh information to share from her adoptive father, who abandoned her before accusing her of being an adult. Even now, some still believe she was an adult even though she claims she was only 10. But because of the trauma she claims she experienced, Natalia holds her mother responsible for her mental health issues. The worst part was that, although Natalia's former adoptive parents legally altered her birthday to make it appear as though she was an adult, she claims to have been abandoned when she was 10 years old. After that, a judge sided with the parents and Natalia gave up her youth because the legal system required her to grow up, even though she maintains that demand was unfounded. Matt Roloff expressed his rage at the circumstances. The Little People, Big World actress stated, it appears that she was given the incorrect diagnosis of spondylopophysal. However, she appears to have diastrophic dysplasia, the same type of dwarfism that I have. And Matt said he wanted to hear from specialists on the whole subject because he is neither a doctor nor a geneticist. Natalia claims to have turned 22. When she was just 9 years old, her adoptive parents attempted to have her change to this age. When a dentist examined x-rays from her childhood, he concluded that the patient was either 8 or 9 years old. Blood samples corroborated this as well. If the allegations made by her adoptive parents were true, she would currently be 34 years old instead of 22. Matt Roloff, star of Little People, Big World, posted a letter to Natalia Grace expressing his thoughts and best wishes. I'm incensed by this Natalia Grace tale and how it could occur. He penned, I send her my warmest wishes and abundance of blessings for the future. Numerous of the numerous people that follow Matt Roloff on Instagram share his opinion on Natalia Grace. Matt's points are agreed upon by Mike and Marcella Stanley, whose son Brody suffers from dystrophic dysplasia. She is diastrophic dysplasia without a doubt. And certainly, this is disgusting. They replied to Matt in a letter. I hope she gets accepted into the LPA community and leads a quiet life now that she is free of these folks. And the remarks were as follows. I'm watching now, Matt. The abuse Natalia endured was heartbreaking. Michael and Christine ought to be behind bars. People's ignorance about dwarfism is glaring and quite evident. Now that she is a courageous young lady, I also wish her the best. The process of aging backward is astounding. It was impossible for the doctor to say that. What do you think about the remarks made by Matt Roloff regarding Natalia Grace? Do you concur that, like the little people, big world star, she suffers from dystrophic dysplasia? From